Welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. We would really appreciate if you could recommend us to your friends and family as well as share information on social media. My name is Artem and here is the news. For 204 days, Ukraine defended itself against the forces of the Russian invasion. In his evening video address, President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky informed that a mass burial site was found in the liberated city of Izum, Kharkiv region. The investigation has already begun there. The president promised that more information should be available the next day. On September 16th, there will be Ukrainian and international journalists in Izum, promised the president. Zelensky stressed that Ukraine wants the world to know what is really happening and what the Russian occupation has led to. Earlier, the police of the Kharkiv region informed that a mass burial with more than 440 bodies was discovered in the liberated Izum, reports Ukrainska Pravda. Volodymyr Zelensky informed about further Russian attacks against Krivirih and the Kirovograd region, in the both cases on hydrotechnical structures. Zelensky called such actions terror which should be answered with sanctions. He clarified that the EU needs to approve the aid sanctions package and the US to declare Russia a terrorist state. Russia has already used more than 3,800 different missiles against Ukraine, said the president. Zelensky emphasized that no missile will bring Russia closer to its goal. There will be no subjugation of Ukraine. The president reminded that Ukraine needs air defense systems. He said that Kyiv already has agreements with certain countries and diplomats are working with others. President of the European Commission Ursula von der Leyen informed that around 5 million Ukrainians who had fled the country after Russia's full-scale invasion on February 24 have returned from the EU, reports RBK UA. According to her, more than 8 million of Ukrainians arrived in the EU since the beginning of the war and the EU wants to provide them with all needed support, even though understands that they want to return home to rebuild Ukraine. President Volodymyr Zelensky stressed that there will be no pressure put on Ukrainians to return, as they are motivated to do so themselves. According to the president, the state's priority is to ensure their safety. The general staff of Ukraine informs that Ukrainian defenders successfully repelled attacks in the areas of Odradivka, Zaitseva, Bakhmut, Vesela Dolina, Avdiivka and Novomikhailivka in the Donetsk region, reports Unian. The enemy is trying to hide massive losses after the fire damage inflicted by the Ukrainian forces. The corpses of Russian soldiers were taken away from the front line in overcrowded trucks. U.S. President Joe Biden signed an order to provide Ukraine with about 600 million U.S. dollars in military aid, reports Ukrainska Pravda. According to the Pentagon, the new package of aid includes additional shells for the HIMARS multiple launch rocket systems and 36,000 regular artillery ammunition. In addition, the help will include 1,000 high-precision artillery shells and four anti-artillery radars, four trucks and eight trailers for the transportation of heavy equipment, anti-drone aerial systems, demining equipment, claymore anti-personnel mines, explosive charges, small arms and ammunition, night vision devices and winter uniforms. Germany plans to transfer more M270 multiple launch rocket systems to Ukraine, reports Interfax Ukraine. German Defense Minister Christine Lambrecht said that Berlin will also send Kyiv 200 missiles for them and 50 Dingo armored personnel carriers. According to the German media Handelsblatt, German authorities are also completing the implementation of a deal with Greece, under which Essence will send 40 Soviet made armored personnel battle carriers to Ukraine and in return will receive 40 German murders carriers. So far, Berlin was reluctant to send those murders directly to Ukraine. Lithuania will repair the self-propelled artillery systems Panzerhaubitze 2000, which Germany previously transferred to Ukraine, reports Militarny. Germany transferred 10 such howitzers and over 10,000 shells to Ukraine in the summer. Lithuania is also planning on sending two batches of armored personnel carriers to Ukraine. The Defense Ministry of Ukraine concluded all needed contracts for the purchase of winter clothing for the military and a significant supply has already begun, reports Radio Liberty. Deputy Defense Minister Hanna Mahler said that the ministry has started buying it since the summer, albeit in small batches. The Health Ministry of Ukraine informed that the first case of monkeypox has been registered in Ukraine, reports Suspilne. The patient has been hospitalized with a mild course of the disease. 
According to the patient, he did not contact anyone diagnosed as monkeypox and did not travel abroad. However, the symptoms and preliminary results of the investigation show that the patient caught the disease in one of this country's big cities. We would really appreciate if you could support us on our Patreon. Even $5 a month will help us to continue our work and present to you the latest news from Ukraine. As a token of our gratitude for your support, you will get access to a series of exclusive episodes on wartime life in Ukraine. From this series, you will learn how ordinary Ukrainians live in times of invasion, what they eat, how they travel, celebrate, what music they listen to, and much more. To subscribe to our Patreon, follow the link in the description to this episode. Thank you! We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.